Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pugh, and today I will be doing my project on the portrayal of women in the mass media. My question today is, what is mass media? Well, mass media can be a print or an electrical mean of communication. It is a way to spread the word around. It can be either newspapers, magazines, social media websites, YouTube, MySpace, Instagram, Facebook. They're all examples of social media websites. For these social media websites, we're supposed to be getting in contact with old friends and family members. But instead, we use it to show off our bodies. And for women, we show off our hair. And of course, our looks. So, Women in the mass media today are viewed in many different ways. Today, we must portray ourselves as everyone else. We must wear weave. We must do damage to our bodies just to look like everyone else. Well, let's start from the beginning when we were children. Do you remember the times you were young and your mom had to pin you down just to hot comb your hair? Yep, sounds just about right. I remember hiding all of the combs in the house and keeping all the brushes out so my mom wouldn't have to comb my hair. But as a young child, natural hair was important. If your hair was permed at a young age, people would think of your mom as a terrible mother. And which may not be the case. Some moms are just tired of doing the hair. But as you become a preteen or a teenager, society hits you. You see women who flat iron, perm, dye, and apply heat to their hair, in which all results to damage. Next, you have bundles, in which is hair extensions. They are considered to be the new way. If you don't have them, then you're not on fleek. We try so much to be like Caucasians. Caucasian females, but to put you in on a little secret, they have extensions as well. The hair may blend in with the Caucasians better because of their hair texture. But, of course, you didn't know that. And it doesn't stop there. Next, we have our colored woman who dyed their hair for an exotic look. Do you really need to add such damage to your hair for a new look? Is it true that blondes do have more fun? We try so much to look like Caucasians, but little do we know, on the other hand, they're trying their best to look like us as well. For Caucasians, you have them paying almost $80 or more to go to the tanning salons, and it's damaging their bodies. Is damaging your body worth the new look? We must be true to ourselves and love ourselves for who we are. And then we have plastic seats and injections as a popular trend today. Many women purchase implants to like themselves more, but most of all, to attract attention from men, which is the wrong attention. Now, there are some pros and some cons of the plastic surgery. For the pros of plastic surgery, it can improve your confidence. It may be easier for you to find relationships, but the wrong ones, of course. But would you want someone for the new you, or would you want someone for the real you? Moving forward to the cons of plastic surgery and which can have a major impact on your life is it costs a lot of money. Do some people spend all of their savings for implants? Also, after all of the money you've spent, what you expect to have may not be realistic and which may cause you to have another surgery. The last topic and which is the most important topic is, I saved the best for last, the half-naked pictures. Ladies, remember, 
Showing your body to the world may say a lot about you. It is okay to show your curves, but make sure you're covered up for the sake of your husband, your family members, and your children. But most importantly, do this for yourself. Stop revealing your body all over Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook. When it comes time for you to have that six-figure job that you dreamed of, all of those photos you thought were gone will come back up. You may think you've deleted them, but those pictures and videos have always been there. Technology is so updated that anything from the past, from many years ago, can be pulled right back up. So ladies, do yourselves a favor and cover up. A picture says a thousand words. From this summer course in relations to the women's portrayal and the mass media, I find that women should find their own identity instead of a social identity. You don't have to be a group or even a membership to know who you are. There's other ways to portray yourself as a good female or a good